In this tutorial, we'll go over how to use the Website Builder option to build and update your website. To begin, make sure you're logged into the Web Builder. On the main menu, click on Build slash Edit Website. Now on this page, you're going to click on the Web Builder button, which is right here. This page will welcome you to the Website Builder option. Go ahead and click Next. Now on this page, you'll be asked to create a headline for your website. You want to put that headline right here. Now after you've entered your headline into the box, you can go over here and click for a preview. And that's going to take you to a preview of this site. And we just had website headlines, so that's what's showing up in the preview. Go ahead and close that. Now once you're happy with the way this looks, go ahead and click Next, which is right here. Now you'll notice up in the right-hand corner up here in the top, there is a pull-down menu on each page. Now you can click on this drop-down menu at any time to be taken to different pages for your website builder. All through here. Now on this page, you're asked to create a slogan for your website. The slogan is like a subheadline. It'll appear right under your headline on your website. Let's go ahead and put that on here. And once again, you can click preview, see what it looks like. And you can see your web slogan is underneath that. Go ahead and close preview. After you've entered your slogan and you like what you previewed, go ahead and click next. Now next here, you'll be asked to choose names for the different pages of your website. You can have four pages on your site. So go ahead and put the name in. You can preview it here as well and then click next when you're done. And you're going to do that for the next three pages. Like so. Now once you've added your names in, you're going to be asked to put in your AWeber list ID and you're going to enter that right here. By entering an AWeber list ID here, you will create an opt-in form in your website that will allow you to capture email addresses from your visitors. And you can see that on the screen here. Now, if you do not enter an AWeber list ID, there won't be an opt-in form in your website. We will discuss how to create an AWeber account and get your AWeber list ID in step nine. Once you enter your AWeber list ID right here, click next. Now, on this page, you're going to be asked about your first ad code. This is where you can enter your code for your Google AdSense ad. This will put ads on your website, and you'll make money every time someone clicks on one of them. The next two pages will be just like this page and will allow you to enter your second and third ad codes. We will discuss how to create a Google AdSense account and get your ad codes in step number eight. Now on this page, you're going to be able to put in a special offer. If you want to put that in, go ahead and put it in. If not, just go ahead and click Finish. Congratulations! You've finished building your site with the Web Builder. Here's what you'll see on the final page of Web Builder once it's done. The page contains a link to your website, right here, so you can see what your site looks like now. You can also click Continue, which will bring you back to the Web Builder main menu. You can come back to the Website Builder option at any time to make changes to your website. The site isn't set in stone once you build it, and you can make changes anytime you want, as often as you want.